Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I'm gonna show you a crusty refresh day. This is like day three, mm, no, probably like day four going on day five. Hair that I haven't refreshed, it's just been up in a ponytail because quarantine. But I thought I would attempt to refresh it to show you how I could refresh on a later day in the week when it's not too beautiful like a day two refresh. And to refresh, I'm gonna be using something that I haven't used before, which is the Extreme Professional Styling Gel. This is like 32 ounces, and this was only $2.94 at Walmart. So it's a $3 gel that looks like it's gonna last me for the rest of my life. But here's the thing, I bought this because this is my girlfriend's favorite gel, shout out to happy curl, happy girl. But I just realized that this is actually different. We did a collab together where she showed me the Wetline Extreme Gel, but that one has a green top like this. Same price, but technically it's different. So this one is their new formula. I didn't know, I just texted her and she told me. So apparently it's hard to find the original one. This is their new formula that might have a little bit less of a crunch. That could be a good thing for most of you, but I do like hold, so I'm gonna see how this does on my hair. But ain't that always how it is? You love something and then it gets discontinued every time. So just like I have to search for my dippy to do Girls with the Curls jelly, I think you guys have to now search for the original Wetline Extreme if you're a fan. So let's see what we're working with here. It's really, ooh yeah, it's, it's wash day. This is like a routine for those times where you just need to get one more hair day out of it. You just don't have time to wash it, but you need to wear it down for any reason. <sighs> you just gotta make it work kind of day. So I am going to spritz it with some water. I did get the new Pattern Beauty water bottle, which is nice. I know I'm probably gonna get some good volume. Ooh, this water bottle's nice. Oh, it's a continuous spray. I'm dripping now. But let's see if we can get rid of some of this frizz and define these curls. Some people like to refresh without adding water, because it does kind of like weigh it down if you put too much, but I honestly always get my best refreshes when I add more water first, and then apply the product. So now that my hair is completely damp once again, let's see what this Wetline Extreme Gel is gonna do. Now I will say this big hunk of clear gel is in no way, shape, or form a natural hair product ingredient wise. Of course, there is no sulfates, parabens, or silicone, but these other ingredients aren't like organic in any way. But let's see what it does. Okay. Oh, it actually smells very fruity. There's no fruit in this at all, but it smells good. So I'm just gonna get a little bit, oh, just like that. Nice little dollop. I really like how it smells. Now let's rub it together. Very creamy like. And I'm just going to smooth it down and scrunch it back up. A little more. I hope this doesn't make it too crunchy. But even if it does, I know how to fix it. I'm noticing that with gels, I really like thick gels. They usually turn out better or have more hold. So far, this looks like it's going to be very promising. I am going to diffuse, but I do want to see if this will work on my edges as well, because I mean, we have some to spare. So let's do this. So now let's diffuse. Alrighty. Oh yeah, that looks good. Look at these curls. Do you see the definition? Oh, I love a good gel. I am very, very impressed. Look at these. 
by this $3 gel. This is officially the cheapest gel I own and the largest quantity of gel that I own in one container. It is thicker than my Dippity Do gel and thicker than Not Your Mother's gel, but not as thick as Patterns gel. Mind you, this is, what, $2.95 or something? And Patterns is like $25. And I'm getting pretty similar results. And I think I also prefer the smell of this one better than Patterns. Although some of my favorite gels are on the pricier side, like Curl Smith or Pattern Beauty, I also like to find you affordable options just in case you can't find them or they're just not in your price range. Mind you, the Curl Smith products ingredients are way better than these ingredients. I can't even pronounce most of the ingredients on here. It does say it has aloe vera. It's alcohol free, it has a fresh smell, but um, you know, you kind of get what you pay for with the organicness of something like Curl Smith versus your $3 tub of gel from Walmart. But even with that said, I do see beautiful results. So as long as I can get the cute look without it damaging my hair, I'm here for it. So overall, I'm very happy with my results from this little cheap, not little, tub of cheap gel. If you're looking for an affordable option, this could be a nice go-to. It is silicone free. There really is no reason for silicone to be in a gel because you don't need any slips. So try to avoid that when possible. But yeah, if you've tried this, I'd love to know your thoughts. Have you tried this one and the original formula? Do you notice the difference? Does this one have more hold or less? Let me know. So that is how I refresh my hair on day four or just any day in general. I add some water and add a little bit more product and then I diffuse. And then I'm usually able to stretch my wash days for at least about a week, depending on how my scalp is feeling. You will get longer results when using a stronghold gel because it will last you longer throughout the week versus using a cream style that doesn't have any hold. So if you're kind of afraid of that crunch or hold or cast, don't be. It's just there to help you get through the week. If you enjoyed this easy refresh with this very affordable gel, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I try to post new videos every Sunday. You also can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.